Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Shelly's Millions. In today's video, I wanna talk about the different unemployment extensions, how they're rolled out, what the timeline is before you receive them, and what the requirements are. So if you need any of that information, make sure to stick around and watch this video till the end. Also, if you could take a minute and like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell, it really helps the YouTube algorithm share my channel with more people that might find these videos useful. So the first thing that you're gonna notice as you're about to go onto one of the unemployment extensions is your claim balance is going to go lower and lower. Now it is going to totally reach zero before you receive any communication about the extensions. After your claim balance hits zero, you're going to see a notification on your homepage that says maximum benefits paid. Now that's totally normal and do not worry about that. In about three to five business days, you're first going to get a message on your UI online account notifying you that you might be eligible for the PEUC extension. And this is what mine looked like and I'm gonna go ahead and read you what it says. The subject line on your UI online message inbox is gonna say PEUC notification. It'll give the date, which for me was actually two days after I certified when my balance hit zero. Then it says RE, Pandemic Emergency Unemployment Compensation, PEUC extension you are potentially eligible for a Pandemic Emergency Unemployment Compensation, PEUC extension, under the CARES Act of 2020. The PEUC extension provides an additional 13 weeks of UI benefits if the EDD determines that you are not eligible for a subsequent valid UI claim then the EDD will automatically file a PEUC extension on your last valid regular UI claim. You should receive a notice by mail within the next 10 to 14 business days. Continue to certify for benefits as weeks become available. Thank you, Employment Development Department, State of California. And that's all it says. And even though it says that they have 10 to 14 days to send that to you, I actually got mine in about five to seven business days. Now, the whole time while you get that message, while you're waiting for the letter, your claim balance is going to stay zero. It's gonna stay at zero all the way up until you certify again, but you should be able to certify regularly whenever your two week time frame is. Uh, then you're gonna get a letter from the EDD they say 10 to 14 business days, but for most people it's coming faster. And that letter says, Notice of Determination for Pandemic Emergency Unemployment Compensation. You qualify for the Pandemic Emergency Unemployment Compensation, PEUC extension of your regular UI benefits. This federal extension of up to 13 additional weeks of benefits has been automatically filed for you. In order to receive benefits, you must certify your eligibility for each week of benefits. If you have a prior disqualification, benefits will be paid once the disqualification is removed. The fastest way to certify for PEUC extension benefits and find more information about your claim status is to visit UI Online. That letter goes on to say, according to the Coronavirus Aid, Relief and Economic Securities, CARES Act of 2020, the last date a PEUC extension can begin is December 20th, 2020. Once filed, benefits are potentially payable until a valid new regular claim can be filed, or until benefits are exhausted, or until December 26th, 2020, whichever of these occurs first. Note there are special claims that have a week ending date other than Saturday. For these claims, benefits may be payable for weeks ending on or before December 31st, 2020. Then it tells you the effective date of your claim, uh, of the extension claim. Then it tells you your weekly benefit amount, which should be the same as you were receiving under your regular unemployment claim. And then it tells you your maximum extended benefit amount, which should be your weekly benefit amount divided by 13 weeks. 
Now the screenshot up above is from my actual award letter, so of course your amounts will be different depending on what your weekly benefit amount was or is. Now you just go on and you certify like usual. You will notice that with the PEUC extension, there is a new job search requirement that a lot of people are wondering if that's waived or not. So when you get your PEUC letter, it's going to tell you that now you need to search for three jobs a week, but it is still my understanding that the job search requirements are waived right now. So you of course need to answer yes, you're looking for work. And for me, I just go ahead and I do look for jobs. I just make it a habit of every Saturday, I go online and look for jobs. A lot of times my answer is I have not heard back from the employer. So that's up to you if you wanna trust that the EDD won't delay your claim if you don't list your the places that you've looked for work. I know a lot of people are doing that and they have not had any problems. For me, I don't wanna risk it. Plus, like, what if I find a better job while I'm out here searching? So I just go ahead and I search for the jobs, then that way I don't have to worry about it. Um, but that's just me, and of course I'm not a professional. That is just how I'm doing it, and the work search requirement is supposed to be waived right now. There are a couple of situations where your weekly certification timeline can kind of get thrown off. And that is if you worked one week and you had an excessive earnings warning message, when you last go on to certify before your claim balance hits zero, you might actually only be able to certify for one week or two, but that's okay because then your next time you can certify is actually just gonna be the very next coming Sunday and they will go ahead and start paying you then. So if you're only able to certify for one week instead of two, that should be because you had an excessive earnings due to reported wages. And so the EDD only had enough to pay you for one final week and then, then they switch you on to the extension. Also, I just wanna note that if for some reason on your UI claim when you're certifying for your last two weeks, you don't have enough in your claim balance to pay you, those last two weeks, usually that's because you reported some earnings but not enough to get the excessive earnings warning. You'll be paid one week at your entire weekly benefit amount and then the other week you'll just receive a portion of whatever was available in your claim to pay that second week. And they don't ever make that up or bring you whole again, so to speak. And your claim balance does have to completely reach zero before they switch you on to that PEUC extension. All of this should happen automatically with the exception of if your benefit year has expired. So for me, I didn't apply for unemployment benefits until March of 2020. So my benefit year does not expire until March of 2021. However, if your benefit year has expired, you may need to open a new unemployment claim. So if more than 10 to 14 days has gone by since your claim balance hits zero, make sure that you're still within your benefit year. And if you are, call the EDD to find out why they haven't applied the extension yet. If you are not within your benefit year, if your benefit year has ended, call the EDD to confirm that you need to open a new claim. There's no requirements for this first 13 week PEUC extension, except that you're within your same claim year. Everyone should qualify for it. They are also going to include an appeal letter when they send you the letter of approval to go on to PEUC. You don't wanna appeal getting approved, so that's fine, just ignore that. Um, as long as you get the letter saying that you're approved for PEUC. A lot of people are like, well, what happens after the PEUC extension, after that 13 weeks, or a lot of people are already nearing the end of that extension already, and they're wondering what's next. So there is this great little infographic up here that I'm gonna share, and this is really, really helpful, but after the 13 week PEUC extension, here in California, there's another extension called FED-ED, and that lasts for up to 20 weeks. There are some requirements to qualify for that, and those requirements are, 
One, you need to have made 40 times your weekly benefit amount to qualify. That's one of the potential requirements. So for me, my weekly benefit amount is $450 times 40 is $18,000. So in your original award letter, the total that I made for that year needs to be more than $18,000, which it was, so I will qualify. The other requirement, and this, this isn't both, it's you either need to make one or the other. You need to make 1.5 times your highest quarter. And where you're gonna find that is on your original award letter, your unemployment benefit award letter that you got when you first filed for unemployment. They break it down into quarters. So you have to make total in the base period more than 1.5 times your highest quarter. If you qualify for either 40 times your weekly benefit amount or you made more than 1.5 times your highest quarter during the base period that they calculated, then you qualify for Fed ED. But if you don't qualify for Fed ED, there is still hope because they are supposed to automatically enroll you onto a PUA claim. With the PUA claim, even though we all just self-certified that the reason why we're still unemployed is a COVID-related reason when we certified for our LWA benefits, you still may need to fill out additional paperwork certifying that the reason why you're still currently unemployed is a COVID-19 related reason. Doesn't have anything to do with why you were first laid off, it's just why you were currently laid off because these programs are only available to people that were affected by the pandemic. Now, one thing to note on the PUA claim is that that program also expires December 31st of 2020 unless Congress votes to extend it. If anybody is interested in trying out the stock market, I do like the stock trading app Weeble. If you use my link in the description down below, you'll get two free stocks, one of which could be valued up to $1,600. And let me know in the comments down below which free stock you got if you use my link. Thank you guys so much for watching Shelly's Millions. I'll see you next time.